Hey everybody, no guts, no glory. How's everyone doing? I hope you all are doing well. I all, hope all of you had a great weekend. We had a, gr a very good weekend. Um, this weekend past was my father-in-law's 90th birthday party and we had a good time. I had taken a few pictures there, but I'm not gonna post them on here only because for his privacy, family privacy reasons. But had a nice time. Took mom out, uh, went to Walmart, so I got an upcoming Walmart haul coming up for you guys. Also some other items that I've received from Wish and AliExpress. It all comes in little bits at a time. So I got that. Got a munch pack coming out for you. A lot of videos are coming your way. I took a day off yesterday and didn't post anything and just relaxed and enjoyed uh, time with my husband. But anyway, other than that, catch you up on a few things. Some of you have asked, and I'm sorry I didn't update you guys on my daughter. A lot of you have asked, and I truly appreciate the prayers and the concerns. My daughter, what happened when her, with her foot is that she had, she was walking in the apartment that she lives in, and she ran her foot right into the end of the sofa. Anyway, went in for x-rays, and... Her ring finger on her foot, just like you have a ring finger on your hand, the ring finger on her foot, and thank goodness it was her left foot, not her driving foot, which is her, would be her right foot, but um, the ring finger on her left foot, she, on the x-ray, shows a nice clean break. Not fracture or anything like that. I mean, the, the toe was just, yeah, the bone was just laying to the side like an L. It was broke. So, uh, all they can do for that is basically they bandage it for her, you know, put it back in place, which is obviously painful, and then bandage it, and then she has to wear a boot for six to eight weeks. Now, with that said, about two days after she got home and she's walking with this boot and she's in a lot of pain and limping, her, <laughs> her son, the youngest, stepped on her foot on accident and the toe next to that one being her middle finger toe broke so now she's got two broken toes on that foot and still wearing the boot and still bandaging it so now you know a little time has passed since I've updated you guys and told you about it and she's doing a lot better so thank you for the prayers thank you for the concerns truly appreciate it now also one thing my daughter has She's had it since birth. You can look it up. I don't remember the name of it. It's got, you know, this long medical term name for it. But she was born with something. And what it is, in a nutshell, so I don't go into all these, how many doctors we've seen, how many diagnoses she was giving, finally the outcome of it, how to cure it, yada, 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 yada. Just tell you that bandaging her foot together, her toes together to keep it in in place and all that for anybody who doesn't have what she has is great that's how you heal a broken toe but with her it's a little bit more complicated because she was born with something that her, makes her her hands and her feet sweat sometimes profusely just yeah so ever since she was born it's always been that way we've been to doctors like i said finally got the diagnosis know what it is the way to fix it would be brain surgery they would have to go up and fix what some kind of gland something up there to fix this problem which i opted obviously not to have done because i wasn't going to put her at risk for that and i wanted her when she grew up to be a woman she can make that decision on her own whether she wanted to have that surgery done or not I wasn't gonna make it for her so she's opted not to so she still suffers from it to this day and always will so she can't bandage her toes like normal people can because bandages and stuff don't stick to profusely sweating feet okay so yeah she's having a hard go but it is getting better. Regardless, she still struggles and tries to put bandages on and stuff. And yeah, so it's getting better. So thank you so very much for the prayers and concerns. We really appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Other thing to update, update you on is my back. Some of you have asked about that. Went to the pain doctor again. 
the nurse practitioner, uh, because at this point, all I see is a nurse practitioner. You know, I only see the, you only see the pain doctor when it's time for either surgery or your first initial visit, things like that. Otherwise you see her. So I saw her and she basically started off with saying, you know, she read over my chart and said, well, I see he's outruled the internal TENS unit for you. Um, so we can't do that. The shots, the two sets of shots that you had did not work for you very well. So basically I think we're at a crossroads and we can't do much more for you. So she said, well, let me go ask him. He is in the office today. Let me go see and ask him to see what he wants to do. So she came back in and she said, well, he's thrown you a lifeline because he said since you had just a tad of relief from the second round of shots that they did in my hip, under my hip plates. Yeah, under there, I explained that in a previous video. <clears throat> in my sacroiliac nerve, yeah. That since you had just a day or two relief of that, from that sh sh those shots, he said what we can do is now go in and give you four more shots, two on each side, in a different area now. Now it's not in the, sp in the, the first set I had were in the upper high spine. And then the second set was in my sac sacroiliac nerves under in my hip areas. This third set's gonna be in my lower spine, down by my tailbone, and do two on each side. He said if those will work, then if I get longer, you know, relief from those, that set of shots, then he knows he got the right spot. He'll go in and he will cauterize and burn those nerves. So we'll have the right place. Prayers, hopes, wishes, every, anything good, good vibes, anything you can send my way. I truly appreciate it because if I don't get any relief from that last set, then there's nothing left for me. So it, that's what it is. So I'll always be not very mobile. So I still push through each and every day. I still get out as often as I can. Don't think that Saturday is the only day I get out with mom. I don't. We just went out yesterday to Dollar General. So I got a haul of that coming up for you. So I do get out, you know, I just have to endure a lot of pain. But so Oh, by the time I get home, I am just a wreck. So anyway, enough said of that crap. This is, for those who are new to my channel, welcome. Truly appreciate having you here. This is where I do, yeah, this is called The Room. And this is where I do my Dollar Tree hauls. Uh, warning, or not a warning, but a disclaimer. Let you guys know, for those who are new to my channel, no products and no animals were harmed in this video. <laughs> so... Just letting you know for those who are new and don't know how I do my hauls. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get started because I've already babbled for gee many Christmas. <clears throat> so this may be a two-parter, guys, because I got a lot of crap here. All right, let's get some of this boring shit out of the way. How's about that? All right, hubby was with me. Yes, and you know he does the grocery and food item section because that's his thing. So he got mashed potatoes. We're going to vacuum seal these. Yeah. The last forever. So he got those. He got these for his BFF. They are the natural value. 100% made in the USA. The sweet potato crisps. So you can see they're made in the USA. Got him that. Hubby got this. He said, ooh, look at this, honey. Goodbye. So put down in our prepping areas, for those who don't know, we are preppers. Uh, this is the Santa Fe, no, La Santa Maria Sea Salt. It is 2, two pounds and 3.3 .3 ounces for sea salt. So got that. Put downstairs. <coughs> Excuse me. He got these for the BFF. Peanut butter. Dog biscuits, great peanut butter taste, vitamins and minerals for your dog's health, crunching action cleans, teeth and freshens breath, one pound box. So he got those for him. And then he got one, two cans of the chicken and 
chili sauce. So he got those. And they're save 35 cents on the purchase of any two. So each can had one, so he saved that one for another time. But this one had one and we used it, so 35 cents off of both of these. Not a bad deal. Oh, you know, it can't be a dollar haul, dollar tree haul, if we ain't got our famous batteries. <laughs> so he got one package of the triple and one package of the double alkaline. For those who are new to my channel and don't know, we absolutely positively always profess using alkaline batteries. They are the best. Get the others that say, oh, heavy duty, yada, yada, yada. They're full of crap. These will last longer. Alkaline batteries. They're the bomb.com shit. Yeah. Okay. What's in here? Ooh, we're going to leave that one for last. Because that's my piece de la resistance. And I have to bend way down here, guys. To get this. And what did I drop? Yeah, I dropped some shit out of it. Okay. See, this is what happens with Dollar Tree bags. They get big old freaking holes in them. I got two of these. This one says, these are stickers that say, Beauty Sweet Diva, Pretty Imagine Cute, Believe, Fun, and Smile. So, got that one, and I got two of them. Okay. Oh, what do you know? Two more of the double. No, yeah, two more of the double A's. Yep. I got a lot of shit in this house that, you know, gadgets and gizmos and things that take batteries that I just, yeah, I like to keep stock because I like to turn all my, I like to turn everything on. <laughs> okay. Got these for somebody. Yes, and one of them already fell on the floor over there. So, shall we try to get it? Yeah, let us. Why don't you go get it for me? <laughs> yeah, so professional here. But got these, for, like I said, for someone. So, I got that one. And that one. And feathers rainbows and that one yeah got those okay <clears throat> all right i'm gonna try my hand at making my mailing labels some of you oh there's a wonderful friend of mine i've i've given her kudos before because she made them for me she's made them for me twice and I've linked her down below and she has her own page. She makes wonderful, wonderful, beautiful address labels, mailing address labels. And she sent me a bunch of them here and I still have a few left, but I want to try my hand at making my own. So I bought the Polaroid premium white mailing labels. And some of you, when I asked on Facebook before to tell me uh, where I can get like templates and stuff to make my own. You guys were wonderful and sent me quite a few links and, and sites to go to. So I'm gonna try my hand at, yeah, making that. All right, got the, these, and let's see, one fell out. So let's put him back where he belongs, right inside there. All right. These are the Easter salt and pepper shakers. The little bunnies. So I got them. Aren't they cute? So we're going to sit those right over there. All right. Not only the bunnies that they have, but they also had... Let me turn these to where you can see them in the packaging. Because they're kind of, kind of facing awkwardly here but they also had the little chicks see their little salt and pepper shakers got the little holes so i also got the little chicks so i got 
those two sets got myself some of these socks two pair I got them because of the color yes they come with that one that looks like that and then that one that looks like that so I got those I found the solar dancing guys so got all three I got the kitty cat And I got the little whale. So I got him. And then last but not least, I got the little dinosaur. Got him. All right. I have seen the nacho cheese many a time, bought it many a time in the little round containers that they have at Dollar Tree and they're good and those are called say nacho cheese dip this one is different it says nacho cheese sauce so I'm hoping it's a little bit more runny and not as now I like how it has the little opening how you open it up on top but it's a can rather than you know the little flat round tubs that they have and like I said this one says sauce I'm hoping it's a little bit more runny to pour over my chips yes the other one's a little I like it but it's just a little too thick for me got the 3d crest white fluoride brilliance toothpaste it is a 4.1 ounce so got that all right found these I think these are the only two I got I don't know I'll have to see if she bagged them in another bag but I found the color therapy magic markers these are light mark for it says they're four in each pack perfect for adult coloring books four fine point felt tip markers so I got four in that color. And I got four in that color. So that's what I got there. Let's see what else we got here. Got two more bags here, guys. I'm trying to get them. Oh, we're not doing very well here. Where my mother lives at, there's a restaurant downstairs in the building. And we sometimes will meet her down there. We'll treat her to breakfast or whatever. And they always have this little dish of candies. And they've had these in there. I had them a long, they brought back memories. I've had them a long time ago when I was, you know, younger days. And uh, I saw them at the Dollar Tree and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get some. They're naturally fat free, zero, zero grams of trans fat. The hard candy is a strawberry flavored those if you guys any of you remember those back in the day yeah so, got myself some of them and then this one hostess mix again it's just assorted little hard candies I have found there's been a few times I've not mentioned it at all in any of my videos or told anybody, just me, my mom, my, the hubster, but we've been out a few times and my blood sugar has just dropped dramatically. And I, to the point, I feel I'm going to pass out. So we're in the vehicle and we're all scrambling, everyone's scrambling in the car to try to find a little piece of candy or something for me to put in my mouth and for me to suck on so that I can get my sugar back up before something happens and there's been a few times where we've not been lucky to find anything so I got I'm going to be keeping these some of these in the car in a little container in the glove compartment so that if something like that should happen to me again then my hubby can pull out some candies so yeah got those for that I'm going to come back with part two because it's going to be running over here. So remember to always let go, let God, no guts, no glory. God bless each and every one of you. We love you. And we'll see you in part two. Bye, guys.